かっこいいって英語で何て言うんでしょうか日本人がよく言う You are cool ではございません実は You are cool と言うと結構違う意味になっちゃいますじゃあ You are cool はどういう意味になるんでしょうかかっこいいの英語の自然な言い方は何でしょうか皆さんこんにちは You Connect のアーサーです今回の動画ではかっこいいの英語の自然な言い方をご紹介します、yeah! You know, since I came to Japan, people say to me sometimes, かっこいいね。You are a cool guy! And I know it's a compliment, and I know what the other person is trying to say, so it makes me feel nice. In America, nobody calls me かっこいい。<laughs> But if you're talking with someone who doesn't know Japanese very well, and you just suddenly say, you're cool, They're gonna feel kind of strange, or they might misunderstand what you're trying to say. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You are cool.、Huh? In this video, I'm gonna share with you one, why Japanese people make this mistake. Two, the reason why you are cool is not kakoi. Three, what native speakers actually say when you wanna say kakoi. Yoroshiku no gaishimasu! So let's first look at one, why Japanese people make this mistake. The phrase kakoi is a decided phrase in Japanese. People use it all the time. And because kakoi is one phrase, people look for one phrase in English that means the same thing as kakoi. They just、hmm, look it up in the dictionary. Kakoi. Oh, cool. Cool da, cool da. And then whenever they want to say kakoi, they just say, you're cool. But actually, that's not how English works. If we want to speak English smoothly, naturally, correctly, we have to think about it in a different way. Remember, words are just tools to share images, feelings, information, what I call messages. And so instead of thinking about this meaning is this meaning, this word is this word, we have to think about the messages. What message do I want to share? What kind of thing do I want to share with the other person? And then, how can I share that image, that thought, that feeling in English? Okay, now let's move on to point two. The reason why you are cool is not kakoi. And so, the reason why Japanese people make this mistake is because maybe the meaning is the same, but the actual message, the image, the feeling is quite different. Let's look at kakoi first. What kind of a message does kakoi share with the other person? Kako ga i っていうことですよね The focus is on the appearance. The appearance looks good. And so when the other person looks good or does something that looks good, you can say kakoi. Now, what about the message of cool? Well, you know, cool originally means suzushi or samui. You know, when someone is hot or we say they have netsui, they're very excited, energetic. Let's go, let's go, yeah, let's do it. But cool is the opposite of that. It's a lot more relaxed, a lot more lower energy. Maybe you're not so passionate, you don't really care. So the original image of cool was someone who was interesting, who didn't care about other things, who knew that they were special. Kind of like James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah, whatever. I'm so cool. I don't need you guys. Oh, you think that's interesting? Yeah, whatever. But people liked these people because they were very interesting. It's more about a personality or a fuinki than it is about the looks of someone. And today, cool just has an image of interesting. So even if someone doesn't have that, yeah, I don't care, personality, if they're interesting, they're still cool. Can you see why there's a misunderstanding? Kakui is mainly about the looks of something, and cool is about the personality or the fuinki of something. You know, I've been talking to you for a bit, and you're pretty cool. Oh, thank you. So, when you say to someone, you're a cool guy, what you're actually saying is, seikaku ga kakoi. So, when a Japanese person came up to me and in the first meeting before anything, they said, hey, you are a cool guy, I didn't really understand.、Uh, what? You don't even know me. How, how, do you, how do you know I'm cool? Which brings us to point three. What native speakers actually say when you want to say kakoi. So if you meet someone and you get to know them and they're very interesting, you want to talk to them more, you want to know them more, you can say you're cool. じゃあかっこいいと言いたいときに何と言えばいいんでしょうか So then, what should you say when most Japanese people say 
you're cool. Before I share this, I want you to be a little careful. Communication isn't just about translating Japanese into English. We also need to think about the culture too. And particularly in America, we don't suddenly say kakui to the other person. It feels kind of strange, especially guys saying it to other guys. So I'll teach you what you can say, but be careful. Don't use these phrases until you see how other native speakers use these phrases. You can say something simple like, you're good looking. You're good looking. Oh, thank you. Or you can also say you're attractive, but attractive can kind of have a nabba poi thinky to it, so be really careful. Good looking just means the way that the person looks is good. You're attractive. Oh. So if you had to choose one or the other, I would recommend good looking. Now, I want to ask you something. Depending on the culture, depending on the person, what is good looking is different. So I want to hear from you. What is an example of a good looking Japanese actor? Please leave the person's name in the comment box below. I'm curious to know because what Americans think is good looking and what Japanese people think is good looking is different lots of the time. It's good culture study for me. You know, at Uconnect, we want Japanese people to not just learn English, but actually use it to talk to foreigners and connect with the world. Not just study on YouTube, but to actually build an English ability they can use in the real world. And we're doing lots of stuff to help people do that. And we would love to help you do that too. If you want more information about what we're doing and join us, you can click up here or you can click the link in the description box below. As always, enjoy your English adventures.